guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my spring must-haves. And yes, I'm wearing this on my hair today. I don't know, I just wanted something different. And I never wear anything in my hair and I was playing around with the scarf and I was going to wear it on my neck but I'm like it's a little too much. So I decided to put it on my hair like as a headband. Is it too much? Let me know. But I think it's kind of cute. So we'll just do it for this video, okay? Okay. So anyways, yeah, like I said, this is going to be my spring must-haves. So I'm going to share with you guys like my favorite accessories, clothing pieces that I like to wear in the springtime. And of course, I'm going to share with you guys some beauty products as well for springtime, especially nail polishes because I love nail polishes. So anyways, let's just get started. So first up are actually my favorite tops for spring. I have three different kinds here. Now, springtime, I love to wear lighter colors. Well, hmm. I actually wear lighter colors like all year round really yeah I do all year round but right now I'm like really into ruffles and like florals and just really really girly prints and whatnot I live in Michigan though so I can't really wear like this out like this is definitely like a summer top for me so if I was to go out you know, when I wear something kind of springy, it has to have like long sleeve, kind of like quarter length or something like that. And yeah, it's just cold here still, so I can't really wear tops like this. This is just like for the video, you know what I mean. So anyways, the first one is this guy right here. It's just like a white plain top with uh, bell sleeves. I think that's what they're called, like super big bell sleeves. I love this top, it's very flattering on. I would definitely pair this up with like high-waisted jeans or something like that, just like tuck it in and it just looks so cute. I'll go ahead and insert a clip of me wearing this so you can see how it fits and like how I would style it and stuff like that. Next top is something I wore in my last video actually, it is this off the shoulder top, but it does have a sleeve on it and also the big bell sleeves it's just super comfortable I would definitely pair this up with some white jeans I just love the color of this this is like kind of the colors I'm addicted to at the moment like pink with grays and just kind of like muted down nudes type of color so so pretty and the last top here is something pink because I love pink like I'm wearing pink right now pink in my hair um, you'll see a few other pink pieces here in this video but I love pink and when I saw this I was like that is so cute it does have a quarter length sleeve and it ties in the bow on on the sleeve like that it's just super cute and flattering you can definitely wear this with white jeans or just denim whatever you like it's just a really nice cute top very flattering and super comfortable I've mentioned my favorite jeans and denims with you guys already I believe I think I have um, but just so you know cuz I still get questions about it my favorite jeans are the ones from Target it is the Massimo brand they just fit me perfectly I am 5'1 and the these are just like the perfect length. I do fold it up just so I can kind of have it cut right on my ankles, if that makes sense. Um, but, you know, you don't really have to. Uh, I like them. I wear them not folded as well. But they're super comfortable and they're just very flattering. I always get the high-rise jugging kind. They're very stretchy. It says right on the tag. <laughs> and if you're wondering, I wear zero zeros and they fit me perfectly. Like they're so comfortable. They do have a little bit of a rip on them, but I think they're just like the perfect amount. I don't like things with like too much rips, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, I really like these. These are kind of like capri pants. And I actually found this at TJ Maxx. The brand is called Genera and it is a 98% cotton, 2% spandex and it is just so stretchy, super comfortable. I really wish that it's like a skinny jeans or something like that but they're just capris. Um, but yeah, I really like these and I do see this brand a lot at TJ Maxx. So definitely check out TJ Maxx and look for this brand. Alright, next are shoes. Now, I just did a haul video all about affordable shoes and jewelry. So I will go ahead and link that down below. Like I said, I live in Wisconsin. So it's a little cold here at the moment still. Uh, so I haven't really gotten a chance to wear all of those shoes yet. So lately, I've just been wearing flats. Now, these are my Tora Birch flats. I did put insoles in them because 
I don't think they're that comfortable without insoles. So yeah, I have insoles in it and also like little pads here just so it doesn't rub on my feet. But yeah, they are super comfortable with the insoles. So I really have been wearing these like non-stop, you know, they keep my feet warm enough, I guess you would say. The other pair of flats that I've been wearing are these ones, and I actually got these on Amazon, just like the other shoes, uh, but they're super comfy. These, I do not need to put any insoles or anything like that, like any pads or anything. They're just extremely comfortable, and I have worn these so many times already. I've worn it like all day long, shopping, um, going out with my friends, and things like that. They're just super, super comfortable, so I highly recommend these. So next are handbags. I love handbags. And right now, I'm using actually two different handbags. I like switch on and off with them, depending on what I'm wearing and things like that. So of course, the first one is my Louis Vuitton Speedy B 20. I did a whole video on this, so I'll go ahead and link that for you guys down below. But I just really love this color. I love pink if you haven't noticed there's a pink pillow there I'm wearing pink you know I love pink so this is definitely something that I can easily match with you know everything that I wear um, it's just super super cute I love the color again I do have a whole video about this so I will just link that for you down below but the other handbag that I have been using actually way more than that one is this this is my chloe mini marcy bag um some websites call it the small bag but on nordstrom it's called the mini marcy bag so i'll just link the exact one that i have for you down below but i just got it in the moddy gray color and i went for this color because one it's super cute <laughs> two it is just it matches with everything like I'm wearing pink right now and it matches and you know I can wear white with this I can wear dark colors with this and it will match so I'm very happy that I chose this color I was almost gonna get the beige one you guys but I'm very happy that I got gray because I'm not really worried about color transfer with this one so I just wear it with anything and it's so easy to clean I already got like chocolate on it like I had melted chocolate in my car and I didn't notice it and I got it on this and the bottom and I cleaned it and it was super easy to clean and good to go again. But yeah, I love this bag. It's really something that I wear all the time at the moment. These two bags are definitely something that I will be wearing throughout summer as well. Um, yeah, I like them. They fit a lot and it's just like perfect. Yeah, let me know if you want me to do a what's in my bag for this because it's small, but I can fit a lot. Like, I have my necessities in there already, but I have more room to shove things in. So, anyways, yeah, let me know if you want to see a what's in my bag for this one. But alright, so now on to jewelry. I did do a haul video recently, like I said, with affordable shoes and jewelry, so I'll link that for you down below. But this has been my go-to choker ever since. It is the chain one, the normal chain choker that I showed you guys. It is just super comfy. I like it. It's my favorite out of the bunch. I thought the other one was my favorite. I don't know, but this is really my favorite just because it goes with anything and it's really, really dainty and... You barely notice it. <laughs> I don't know. I really like this. So this is like my favorite and it's held up really well. I've worn it so many times. And this one, I don't see any tarnishing. The other ones that I showed in the video, they did tarnish already. But this one, so far so good. The next accessories I'm going to share with you are my Alex and Ani bangles. I always get questions about this. I try not to wear it in my videos anymore just because they do jingle. Can you hear that? So for those who's always wondering, what is that jingling noise? It is my bangles. Um, but yeah, so I try not to wear this as much as possible in my videos just because I don't want to bother anybody. But I love the jingling, you guys. I think they're so... I don't know. I like it. It's cute. I don't know. But I like the sound that, that they make. Uh, so yeah, these are my Alice and Ani bangles. I wear them all the time. I might not wear it in a video. But I wear it almost like every single day. I wear this and also my Pandora bracelet. I would wear this always on either... Do I wear it? I would wear it on my left hand all the time. And then my Pandora bracelets would always go on my right hand. That's just like what I always wear on a daily. But yeah, right now I don't have anything on. But I love my Alice and Ani bangles. I have quite a bit. Quite a collection of them. Uh, let me know if you want to see a cool video 
with my Alex and Lani bracelets. I really kind of want to do one now. Before I didn't just because I don't know how to really do it. But I think I have an idea on how I would do the video now. And yeah, so let me know if you would like to see my Alex and Ani kind of like collection video. Alright, and the last things that I wanted to share with you guys are my favorite nail polishes for spring. I was going to do a whole video about this, but I figured I would just like put it in this one. So all of them are nudes. First two here are from Butter Linden. I love Butter Linden. You only need two coats. Same with the Essie ones that I'm going to share with you guys. They're very nice and opaque and you don't need to layer a bunch on. But these two right here are from Butter Linden. And the first one is this beautiful kind of like light gray color. It does have a little bit of a purpley undertone, but it's like a cool gray. So it's really, really pretty. It is called Tata. I love this. I don't know if I have a photo of me wearing this, but if I do, I will try and insert a photo. But it is such a beautiful color. It's It goes well with everything. It really reminds me of my Chloe bag. <laughs> so it's really pretty to me. I love it. And I also really love the Patent Shine 10X line from Butter London. They're super good, very, very shiny, and it just looks really nice on your nails. Um, and it lasts like weeks and weeks. So I really love this line from Butter London. The other one is called Coming Up Roses. It is this beautiful kind of like muted pink. It is just stunning. It goes well with everything. It's like kind of like a nudie pink. It's just really, really beautiful. Again, it is the Pat and Shine 10X line from Butter London. So yeah. Love this a lot. Next are my favorite nail polishes from Essie. Now I wear these all year round. They're just really my go-to. So the lightest one that I have here is called Provino Chic. I have worn this countless amount of times. And I believe I do have pictures of this on my nails. So I will definitely insert photos for you guys. But I love this one. It is this really nice nudie peachy color. It's very, very good. I love it even when I'm really tan. It doesn't kind of like look just white. It's just so nice. All year round, I wear this. I love it. Next, I have this one, which is actually what's on my nails right now. It is Picked Perfect. It is just the perfect nude. Seriously, the perfect nude. It has just the right amount of brown in it that doesn't like look kind of poopy, if that makes sense. So I really like this. It does have that cooler undertone and it just looks really, really nice on. Again, it is what's on my nails right now and I probably do have photos of this as well, so I'll insert it for you guys. But I just love this nail polish. It's so beautiful and whenever I don't know what to wear, this is kind of what I go for. Last but not the least is this guy. This is actually kind of um, similar to Coming Up Roses, but a little bit lighter. Just a tad bit. Um, but this is in the color Eternal Optimus. I do wear this one all the time too. Whenever I kind of want like a darker nude color, this is what I go for. <laughs> but it's just so beautiful. I love this mauve pink kind of like muted color. It's just stunning and again, it goes well with everything. And that wraps up this video, you guys. That is my spring must-haves for 2017. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave it as a comment down below. Also, video requests or anything like that. I love hearing back from you guys. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. It really, really helps out my channel and lets me know that you like these type of videos. And also, if you haven't, please do subscribe. I would love to have you back here on my channel. I upload every Tuesdays, Fridays, and plan with me Sundays for my planner addicts out there. Again, thank you so very much for watching. I love you guys, and I hope to see you again here on my channel. Bye!